guys, welcome back to Booze Reviews in Black and White. I'm D'Amico. This dude sitting over here is Bane. Check out his shirt. <laughs> He'll be trying to get all the ladies to rub his tummy. You're going to catch a case, man. All right, today we are busting out some brew. John Henry. Uh, this is from Cold Spring, Minnesota. Cold Spring, Minnesota. Another Minnesota brew. I know we're bringing them a lot of them lately. Um, this one, Cold Springs Brewery. Cold Spring, Minnesota. Uh, this is going to be their West Indies Pale Ale. Um, I made the mistake of thinking it was a IPA. <laughs> Not really. Um, but it's interesting because this one is actually oak aged. In a way, it's uh, spindle aged. Mm -hmm. So they, you know, throw the spindles in the, uh, I'm sure, in the stainless steel tanks. You get yeah. that little mellowing character of rum cats. Yeah. And as you were saying, they're probably coming from the Indian. Exactly. Well, say, so instead of doing, um, you know, oak barrels, you know, it's a lot cheaper for most, even a lot of wine producers do this. Um, they get the staves or uh, spirals of wood and, you know, they're soaking them in rum or whatever else, bourbon, you you name it. And then they add it to the beer uh in the, the tank, so that's why it's oak spirals and not barrel aged. But yeah, West Indies, you know, the islands off of the coast of Florida, um, Cuba and all that crap, whatever. I don't even think Cuba is actually part of it. Um, I think there's 12 or 13 actual states that make up the colony, but anyways. Um, we're, we're looking at uh, actually a part of a three pack set. Um, so you have your original John Henry Three Lick Spike Ale, you have this guy right here, and then we have another one we'll have a video up soon uh, about. But this one, and actually all three of them, are super high octane. This one is 9.4% alcohol by volume, so let's get, uh, let's get into this nose. Um, I'm assuming it's got to be the rum. I mean, almost raisiny, uh, cinnamon, just deep brown spices. A little bit of cocoa dust. I don't know. I don't know. It's all very good. Um, I'm little, getting, I don't know if it's uh, caramel or what the deal is, but caramel works. Yeah. Hmm. Some subdued some hops, you know, just, you know, almost uh, like a European hop, just mellow, just kind of wafting across the top there. It does seem like that rum is just totally mellowed out this pale mm -hmm. ale. I'm not getting too much as far as hops at all. Um, the rum is definitely coming through on the nose. Um, getting, I, I really can't pinpoint that, what that is, but it's, it smells almost sweet. In a way. Oh, for sure. Vanilla. Barley. Yeah, it's yeah. it's kind of all over the place, which yeah. is a good thing. Very complex on the nose. Yeah, definitely. Want to try it? Yeah, let's dive into it. Now, I want to start out on the palate telling you how creamy this is. Um, <clears throat> it The rum, I think, is a little bit of kind of like in the back of this palette, kind of lingering. I don't think this is like a huge rum character. It's gonna be like right out in front. <clears throat> there's other things working here. Um, there's almost a little hop nature that's coming through, just, just slightly. Um, but creamy, just very nice and creamy and calming. Definitely getting like, oh, I'm sorry, a little no, bit, a little, little, little raisiny <clears throat> action there. Um, maybe, maybe a little <clears throat> bit of brown sugar. What are you getting? Um, before I get to the flavor, the viscosity is is up there. I mean, this is a heavier weight. Um, I'd probably even say is as much as a two percent 
milk uh, versus like skim milk or one percent. If you if you drink different milks, you can tell the differences. One's heavier than the other. This will probably be at that two percent. You know, almost whole milk, but not quite. It's been, your, fr it's been your fridge for like Ooh. a month. No, nah, that, <laughs> that'll <laughs> kill you. That's what will get you. Hey, well. Mm. But yeah, flavor profile. It's dense. It's dark. Um, cocoa. Mm. Like, you know, that rum spice, that clove is coming through. A little bit of that barley, that essence. Um, yeah. Just a touch of the hops, uh, almost, um, I mean, this tastes more, more like a porter, like a, a, a deep brown ale than a pale ale. Um, it does. But, I mean, again, you know, it's being aged um, on wood, so that makes sense. This is, I mean, a lot of you guys would absolutely love this. Uh, this isn't a chug beer, of course. This is definitely a sipper sit back and just let it take hold um yeah again 9.4 percent yeah. alcohol yeah, by volume and i don't i don't think either of us are really getting the alcohol on this thing mm -hmm. uh it's it's very smooth creamy um i'm getting like the rum raisin rum raisin that's in one word i would explain tons that. tons of vanilla though mm -hmm. i mean that's where you're getting that creamy aspect i mean the weight and then the vanilla just make i mean seriously it, it's almost like Someone put like some coffee creamer or some half and half in this. Mm. I had John Henry for the first time, I want to say five, six years ago. Mm. And I mean, by far, the, it <clears throat> blew me away. I didn't realize it was from Minnesota when I first had this beer. Um, and they finally just came out with these guys. As far as I know, they're yeah, I've pretty never, new. I've never seen them. You want to show them that? box there oh yeah actually Let's pull that out that's what we did this I mean all three bottles there's 750 size bottles uh, so um, it's, it's a great deal it was uh, like 16 bucks yeah 16 bucks but you can't beat Why it not, man? I mean usually your 750 bottles are pretty much 10 bucks a piece mm -hmm. to begin with so great deal uh, check it out for those of you in Minnesota but before we do, let's uh, let's rate this piece yeah you know what you're going to give it? Yep. Cool. I'll give it an 8. This is good. Um, I mean, there are some small flaws. But I think, uh, honestly, letting this rest for a little bit, hanging out, melding a little bit more, um, boy, I think these can come together really nicely. Uh, and, you know, for the price, I mean, it's still a very huge bargain. Um, yeah, 8 points. I'm sticking with that. I mean, you, you bring up some really good points here. If we were talking about value-wise, I'd probably give this thing close to like a nine and a half. Uh, straight up, just, you know, blinding it. If I just drank it straight, probably an eight, eight point four. Sure. I really love this type of beer. Maybe that's a problem for me. I'm writing these uh, a little bit heavier no, beers better. That's what you like. That's that, what you like. Yeah, that is my palate. So if you do <clears throat> like dark beers, definitely give it a try if you can find it. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you for watching. Um, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, all that other good stuff. And as always, peace.